Hello guys, uh, in today's video we'll be talking about the Yo hyperelastic model for the nonlinear finite element analysis. We use the one point, the WSIM 1.9 for this demonstration. And let's start a new project, create a new material, double clicked, click to build tab on toolbox, and find out the hyperelastic material property. Uh, we have uh, three Yo uh, models. One is first order, second order, and last one is third order. So we use third order, which is uh, be able to to model the complicated strain and strain uh, curves. So for these parameters, uh, we already have the parameters for the black field, the carbon black field rubber material. So let's import the five point. 7382 for the C10 for the C20 is a point se negative 7.4704 negative 2 for the C30 is 1.1321 10 to the negative 2 for the parameter D1, we give it a 0 0.01. D2 is 0.21. D3 is 0 0.5. Okay. So yeah, well, that's it. We defined uh, a hyperelastic model with uh, the Yo third order model. Let's rename it third order. Okay. The geometry, which is important. Uh, uh, Model that we already prepared. Okay, this kind of uh, rubber material made kind of uh, pipeline, so we can uh, pull or compress this material. Okay, let's assign. We just created this user all the material assigned to this body. Animation. We we'll use high order elements. Click the mesh button. Okay, we totally have uh, seventy-four thousand elements in nodes and uh, thirty-seven thousand elements. We add a one constraint and one displacement boundary condition. So let's constrain. For the constraint boundary condition, let's constrain this bottom area and top. Select the displacement and uh, it's on the z direction. Change the constant 100 millimeter. Now, so this is a nonlinear study. Let's make uh, 30 for the number of substates. Can help us to get a convergent result. Okay, that's it. Uh, let's solve. Uh, since this is big, it's kind of big. Uh, this model is kind of big, and uh, we have uh, like uh, 74,000 nodes, and uh, it's a non uh, model. It um, may take for a while, so we need to wait a couple of minutes. Okay, uh, takes like about uh, 15 minutes, then this model is done. It's big and uh, very nonlinear model, so takes time is uh, reasonable. So since it's solved, let's add some result. Let's see what it looks like. We have total 30 substates, right? So let's evaluate uh, one basis stress first and check the final stress state. how it looks like. The maximum stress is about 1.7 megapa. If you want to see the deformation, you can change the how it's deformed. Really, the shape looks good and makes sense. Deformation. Let's see. 
version of the situation. straight so we can tell um, this curve is kind of a dynamic curve relation. And uh, for the reaction force, let's select the, the constrained area at the bottom of this object. Click OK and select the final state. Evaluate. And so we get uh, the final the reaction force on the constrained area is about 77 Newton. Yep, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please let us know. Thanks for watching. Bye.